Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday weather update for August the 30th and high pressure still in charge uh, of New Zealand, but it is starting to slide away. The animated wind map today highlighting where the windiest weather is in the brightest shading. So windy through Cook Strait. Uh, those nor'westers are going to really build up over the next few days with gale force winds on Friday quite likely in the capital. Windy weather to the south, that is that windy weather that's sliding up the country over the next few days. And then over here, Adelaide and Bass Strait, uh, windy weather thanks to a storm down in the Southern Ocean. But high pressure is elsewhere on the map, and that's the reason why it's not too windy for most places and was a bit of a cold start today. Got a few showers on the way for the next few days. Not much for the North Island, but normal rain returning to Fiordland. The West Coast has actually been a little bit drier than usual lately. So 125 millimetres or so coming in for Fiordland, but just a few showers elsewhere. In fact, mostly dry if you're in the east. Some eastern areas getting a little too dry now, believe it or not. Hopefully a little bit of wet weather this weekend will help and it won't be very much. So let's have a look at Aussie. Not much for you as well. Just a few showers coming through, uh, mostly down here around uh, Tasmania, but also around Brisbane, five to 10 millimetres. So it's not exactly a lot. So here we are for Thursday. You can see those showers for the coastal side of Aussie and that cold front coming in here, a bit windy for the southeastern corner on Thursday. And that windy weather transfers over to the South Island, but it's a nor'wester, so your temperatures, they lift up. The North Island's still a bit cold though with that high pressure zone around, there'll be some frost around the central plateau. Now by Friday, the high does properly move off the country. So this subtropical airflow, there is Fiji, here is Tonga, that airflow is coming down and into the South Island to begin with and just brushing the very north. So temperatures are going up as we go in towards the weekend, but of course it gets windier as well. Hard to see it, but it'll be pretty blustery through Wellington on Friday. And going into Saturday, now we start to see a low pressure zone forming. Now it's cut off with high pressure to the south. This big high right down to the south of it here, and then it joins up. So a giant smiley face of high pressure, and that traps that low. So that low, while it looks pretty big, because it's got the southern part cut off, it won't get a lot bigger than that. So as you go through into Sunday, you can see, yep, proper low pressure zone, but not exactly a major storm. And the rainfall to the North Island, nothing huge, but you do have a bit of rain coming through and windy weather coming down into the South Island as well. But this block of high pressure really does shut off that low from deepening and becoming any worse. So by Monday of next week, it's fairly weak, using that word twice, uh, and northerly winds coming down, or north, northerly quarter winds. So they'll be northwest for some of you over here around Northland, and maybe a bit more nor'east if you're over here around East Cape. Generally speaking, it's a northeasterly flow, subtropical. So Monday next week, which is spring on the meteorological calendar, will feel a little different to this week, which is certainly more wintry. But you can see the Southern Ocean still quite stormy. So don't expect the weather to calm down anytime soon. September is well known for being all over the place but you will start to notice a bit more warmth and 20 minutes of extra sunlight each and every week in September. That's how quickly the days get longer as we get further and further towards summer, which is only a few months away. Anyway, that is all from me. Back again tomorrow, sorry, not back tomorrow, back again on Friday. Uh, we have no video tomorrow, Thursday, but on Friday we have two videos. We've got our normal weekend update and the outlook for next week and Climate Watch. And uh, the latest from the Bureau of Meteorology, no change just yet. Uh, so we're still not technically in El Nino, but it is very close to it. And the long range term shows, uh, long range trend shows more dry weather coming into eastern areas of both Australia and New Zealand. So we'll have full details about that on Friday. Have a safe Thursday, but we'll see you again on Friday.